Alright guys, this is day two of one of the church sales. Um, my second day shopping there, their third day. This was their $3 bag sale. So these are the uh, brown paper grocery bags. You can fill up for three bucks. Anything that didn't fit in the bag, like these skis, were just half off the normal price. I almost grabbed these yesterday uh, because they were only asking $5 for one pair and $3 for the other. And I knew there was money to be made. I just didn't know how much and how the heck I would ship something that big. So I'll still have to figure out the shipping conundrum, but um, I paid a buck fifty for one pair and two fifty for the other pair. And at a bare minimum, I think I'll get maybe fifty bucks plus shipping on each pair. These guys just came from Walgreens. I had to stop on my way here uh, to stock up on some water bottles because it's super hot and I was super out of water. But these were 90% off, so I paid, I think it was $1.19 or $1.29 each for them. And they do not have 2019 anywhere on them. They had some cute unicorn ones, too, that were also 90% off. But they said class of 2019 on the hats. And that won't do me any good to sell for the class of 2020 next year. So... I snagged those. The rest of this stuff is from the bag sale. Uh, and I don't know how exactly to best go about showing you what's in all these bags. But I'm just going to do my best. Mainly shoes. Um, this bag does have some jewelry at the bottom of it. Couple little rackets. Some of them may be worthless and go back to the thrift store. Some of them might be pretty good. Dunlop, I think, is a decent brand. Glass powered. Abercrombie and Fitch. Didn't know they made tennis rackets. Bancroft. Hmm. There might be some value in those. It was worth a shot to throw them in my bag for Three bucks. I know I have more than so I spent $25 total seven bags at three dollars each plus the four dollars I spent on the two skis and I know I have more than 50 items so I'm at less than 50 cents uh, in everything I don't think I have more than a uh, hundred items so probably not quite as worthy this is just a nice printer paper, but it's expensive stuff, and the pack is open, so squeeze those back in. It's probably missing a couple, couple pages, but I would probably just use it myself. I go through enough paper, so I don't mind keeping that. I do sell those types of, especially like Avery products and stuff, I will buy and sell. Southwestern Bell Freedom Front Phone, an alarm. No clue again what the value is, but all the phones and stuff do seem to sell or something. I have no idea what this is either. Raider Pro, Interact. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. I have no idea what that's a controller for, but I will find out and hopefully make my 50 cents back on it. This is just a video cable and a remote control. I always grab remotes if they're less than a buck or so. Um, obviously it was in the bag so uh, people are always trying to replace their lost remotes and some of them have a lot more value than others. But They did. I went straight to the jewelry room when I got there this morning they had put away all of the sterling silver, nicer jewelry for the sale. I thought about just putting everything else on their jewelry table in my bag for three bucks. And I'm looking for it later, but I figured I didn't need all that junk and somebody else could have a chance to find something cool. So this is just a little pendant and earring set and some Christmas pins. 
all pre-packed pre in that bag. Um, a couple of hemp necklaces. Another necklace. Um, those are fun. I'll probably just lot those up and maybe sell them for 10 bucks for both of them together. A pair of Sterling Kisses earrings. Sterling Bliss. I don't know if they're Sterling or not, but I didn't look at them that close. I just grabbed them. A Tony bracelet that's marked $34. I don't know who Tony is, but figure that was worth throwing in the bag. This is just a pretty like hematite type. I don't know if it's it's not magnetic. It looks like it's supposed to be magnetic or something, but just a pretty necklace unmarked. Little charm bracelet. Love, live, laugh, live, laugh, love. Another little charm bracelet. Dance. Love, laugh, kiss. This little pack of random earrings, but these all do appear to at least have their matches in the pack. So, a bunch of earrings. A leather band watch. I don't know the brand. I don't know if it works. But I don't do a lot with watches. So I figured why not. They did have um, quite a bunch of watches. But most of them just seem to be like junk Walmart watches. So this is just a bunch more little lapel pins. They do well for me in lots. So if I can buy them really cheap then... I lot them up and a couple little angel brooches. So that's all everything from bag number one. That's the bag that had the most stuff crammed in it just because of the tiny jewelry. Um, on to some shoes. Some of these I put books in the bottom of just to not have all the books in one bag. These are Mephisto. Uh, Mephisto sells really, really good for me. They're really high quality tennis shoes. Uh, but they are size seven black and in pretty good condition and those will probably get at least 40 bucks a pair of kids also in good condition size uh, so hard to hold the camera and do this I can't see the size good condition $10 to $15 on those. These are Propay. Propay make excellent walking shoes, walking sandals, and they always sell really well for me. These will probably be an easy $20. And they are, oh no, they're size eight and a half. That's my size. <sighs> hate when things are my size, but I like those, so who knows grabbed a couple belts. Um, I just looked for a few genuine leather belts that looked like they were in good shape. They weren't anything too special. Their purse selection was abysmal. Uh, yesterday it was too. I'm not finding very many good purses lately and I'd love to stack up on purses. That's just a tiny little the sack bag. This is just a strap, but I often find purses and things that don't have straps. So, for being able to throw it in my bag and pay nothing extra for it, I snagged that just to have on hand. And then another leather belt, pretty green. This is a weatherproof men's jacket. Size extra large, dark brown. It looks to be in really nice condition overall. So, I don't know, I haven't sold anything weatherproof probably in in a while, but I have sold their jackets before for 20, 30, 40 dollars depending on the style. It's kind of like a micro suede, super soft material, so somebody will want that. And then the 
final thing in this bag. This little Makoa tiny little television looking thing. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm guessing it's a TV of some nature, but uh, vintage electronics, I'm willing to try them and see what happens. So forgive me for not having any clue about any of the stuff that I bought. These are Stonefly. Little like Mary Jane style black leather shoes. More shoes in this bag. These are LL Bean leather. Oh, they are dirty on the bottom, but I can clean that up pretty well. The tops look pretty good. Uh, red leather, size six, women's shoes. I. It's been a while since I've had any LL Bean anything, so. They used to do really, really well, I would say. I probably could have gotten $30 for them before. I don't know if they still do that well, but I'll give them a try. Pair of Merrells. I always grab Merrells whenever I can find them in good condition. These are size nine and a half. Yes, size nine and a half. And they appear to be in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. Those will e easily be a $25 flip. This next pair I grabbed just because they look kind of cool, unique. A pair of slip-on sandals. And I couldn't make out the, it's like Dolly Hawaii, size 8. They feel like a plasticky, so I don't know if they're worth anything, but they were worth trying. These I also grabbed just because they looked interesting. Bali Accents. Made in Indonesia. I was going to say maybe that said Bali too, but uh, size 8. And they're just a cloth flat shoe, but they just looked really cool, so we'll see. Look like they could use a good cleaning though. They might even just go through the washing machine. A pair of men's floor shimes. I have showed off men's floor shimes in many a haul because I always grab them. If they look like they have any life left in them, they always fetch anywhere from like $30 to $60, $70 I've gotten for them before. These are probably a $30, $40 pair. These are made in Canada. Not too much wear. Some pet hair on them. Uh, toe warmers. Boots. I have no idea, but they appeared to be good quality, so I'll clean those up and see what I can get for those. These are just David Tate. Size 8.5 SS, which I think is narrow. Extra narrow. But they don't appear to have too much wear. They're super cute and probably a $10-$15 sale. There. So that's the pile I've gone through three of my seven bags. And I'm not really tallying up my value as I go, but I'll come up with something at the end. These I got a whole bunch of swimsuit tops. I don't like picking up separates unless maybe they're brand new and super special, but these were Land's End and they had several of the Land's End same size so I can create a lot and put them all together and add some value. So there's that one. This one was another Land's End black polka dot. This is another one. It's just a blue, like, ribbed swimsuit top. Um, I think I got a bottom, too, somewhere. Maybe even some more tops. I don't know. I'm not seeing them at the top of this bag, but I'll get to them. But if I have a lot of four or five pieces, I'll easily be able to get 20 bucks for that. 
This is hiding. Habitat clothes to live in. It just looked super comfortable and good quality soft sweater. I have no idea if it has any value or if anybody will want it, but we'll find out. Pair of black boots. These are Nine West. I don't pick up a lot of Nine West anymore because it seems to sit forever, but they were cute little boots, low heel, and those seem to sell well for me lately, so. These are totes, ankle boots. I've done well with totes in the past. They do have some wear, but the bottoms seem to be in pretty good shape. Size nines. Um, I don't know what I'll get for them, 15 to 20 on those. These I got because they were my size and they do look really dirty, but the bottoms look relatively clean. And I think I'm gonna run them through the wash and keep them for myself unless they have much value. Some New Balance will sell super high and some New Balance I get 10 bucks for. So uh, everything that's left down in here is just taking random books. I picked up one of these Great Courses books yesterday and showed it off in the last haul. And when I looked it up, it actually had really good value on Amazon for, I think, I listed it for like $28. And they had a whole shelf of them yesterday, so I was going to grab those and try out the rest, but somebody else beat me to it. So I found one sitting in another place on the shelves and grabbed it. Okay, let me reposition these keys. Couple more books. This is a complete Bible on cassette. It's funny, I keep finding those and they seem to do pretty well for me. I'll probably get 20 to $30 for that one. But every time I find them, they're a completely different version or a different one. I think the other one I have listed right now is also an NIV NIV, uh, but it's different. Uh, at least packaged differently. I don't know if it's any different. Uh, but they do well, and for the price, it was worth grabbing. I grabbed a few nighty type things, uh, nightgowns and Some of them just because they looked really nice. Some of them because of the sizes. This one, I think the brand is hiding underneath, but it's just a pretty super long maxi ivory satiny nighty. This is just Ralph Lauren brown floral button down women's size large and it looked to be in pretty good condition I think the heat is causing my phone to not uh, focus very well this is California Dynasty which I do not know but it appeared to be vintage and it came with this robe and the nighty for underneath it to match size large. Depending on age, size large might actually be closer to a medium of today, so I always make sure to post the measurements on those, but that's super pretty. No idea on value. More books, a couple pairs of old, new in the package pantyhose. This I have no idea uh, what it is, but it is Catchington. Also appeared to be vintage and just a lightweight top with some sort of kanji on it, but I have no idea what it says. This is just a slip. I grabbed a couple of these. 
I will probably lot them together. I think one was Avon and I can't remember what the other ones were. The limited size medium, just a lightweight green pretty blouse on or off shoulder. Grabbed a couple of bras that appeared to be in good condition. This is Vassarette. Oh, Vassarette was the other brand of the slips. Too. This is Lily of France. Not a brand I know of, but it appeared to be in good condition. And Nice enough to try to sew. This is the bottoms that I got, a little skirt that I can sew with the Land's End um, bikini tops. And this is another Land's End bikini top. I think that's all, so that would make it a five piece lot. Land's End swimwear, no comment, velour leggings, and then two more black slips. The slips I will probably lot all together and sell like that. So now I am down to just two bags left. and. A pile of stuff that I need to get. This is just a Bible, and I always hear people say Bibles do super well. I know nothing about which ones do super well, so I just kind of looked at the age, and it was from the 70s. Uh, if they look like dollar store Bibles from today, obviously they're not worth grabbing, but this is an Etienne Agnier uh, purse. I probably butchered his name. Just a small bag, but it was cute and one of the few bags worthy of going in one of my bags. So I had to grab it. A couple other books. This is a pair of Gaim, G A I A M, yoga pants, size small. And they're just black pants with kanji down the side. This is another pair of, well, this is a pair of Palazzo pants. Let's see if I can find a brand in here. I'm not seeing the brand. I know I saw it when I grabbed them, but it's a fun, thicker knit pair of Palazzo pants. Great for the fall. This is just a Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know if this one is vintage or not. It does have one little mark on it that looks like paint or nail polish or something. It does have some fading, but it's just a Tommy uh, Hilfiger hoodie. This is a little made in Japan bento box, tiny little box, all in Japanese. So I'm not sure the easiest way for me to describe and list it, but it was brand new in there. This is J. Jill, size small, racer back, shelf bra, tank top. It's got like a pretty floral print underneath the mesh. Kind of cute. This is an older Green Bay Packers hoodie. Zip up hoodie. Size. Size. Does it tell me? 2X. So good size, but there's a lot of cracking in the um, logo on it. So, But still probably an easy 15 to 20 bucks, if not more. And then the last thing in this box is something that I always tell myself I'm not going to pick up anymore because they just don't sell. And then what do I do? I pick one up. It's just a 
collector's plate. It's from the 1970s. I think it was Avon. I don't know. Pontessa. Oh, special edition awarded to Avon representatives, 1974. Made in Spain, Pontessa. I know nothing about it, but it was just so sweet and it wasn't costing me anything. And it's probably going to sit forever and ever and ever and never sell. But I wanted it and I couldn't leave it behind. Last bag, guys. This is Made in Canada Chaps Ralph Lauren. It has a vest with the jacket. This super soft suede jacket. I have no idea what it will sell for. I wish it wasn't Chaps. I wish it was just Ralph Lauren. But if I paid 50 cents for it, I'm going to guess I can get 30 or $40 for that. Who knows? Oh, and I couldn't even find the size in there. I'm going to have to do some more looking for the size in that jacket through all the pockets. I tried to find it while I was there, but I ended up just throwing it in my bag. Nautica, size large, just a white polo shirt. Cabela's, size large, just a dark gray button down. And these, you know, maybe 10 or 15 bucks each on those. I'm running really low on clothing to list, so as much as I'm getting into the hard goods and like them, I also want to keep replacing clothes as it sells. So this is just like a vintage thermos. I don't think it's thermos brand. No, it's Aladdin's pump a drink. No clue at all if it has any value. But I'm sure somebody will pay me more than the 50 cents I paid for it. I think I'm down to just two, one, two things left. This is Fasanable, Faconable, designed in France, made in Hong Kong. Know nothing about the brand, uh, but it seems very, very well made. Blue and white striped shirt. Figured I'll try that one out. And then this is one of my favorite things. Wine art collection, terracotta set. Now the box itself is breaking apart. So I'm gonna get it out and then show it. So here is the wine art collection. Um, sommelier, some, sommelier, the art of wine, terracotta wine art collection. It comes with the wine chiller and a coaster set and a wine stopper um, is that it? the top of the box is broken off and the bottom is loose but it doesn't appear to have ever been used um, and it's just super cool so I don't know if what somebody will pay for it but my cost was super cheap and I almost grabbed it yesterday, even at the half off. Uh, I would have had to pay $3 for it yesterday, and it fit nicely in my bag today, so I was kind of surprised nobody had snagged it. Who knows? It might not have any value. It might be a garage sale item or something eventually, but I will look it up and see. So that's it, everybody. That is everything that I got. Big old pile of work for me to do probably almost a full week's worth of work in this load and I'm gonna say offhand roughly from what I can think I'm gonna make $500 I'm gonna guess $500 from this load maybe we'll see I will update as it sells thanks for watching guys